George don't think I can sew. I'll show them. Jerry, cute message. Your Bogart's good, your Pee Wee Herman needs work. <laughs> I'm calling to find out where you and Webster are because you're about half an hour <laughs> late. Catherine, mission accomplished. And as organizer of the 10K Twilight Run, you have the privilege of previewing what the well-dressed runner will be wearing. Oh. Our man on the run, Webster Long is sporting a Dr. Wu 10K headband, guaranteed to fit the most muscular of heads. And of course, no run would be complete without the classic Dr. Wu t-shirt and the chic Dr. Wu wristband. The very latest in Wu wear. This stuff is so neat, I wouldn't even want to sweat on it. <laughs> Well, thank you. I think this 10K is really coming together so well. We deserve a pat on the back. Absolutely. <laughs> you know, Catherine, with any luck, this fundraiser will keep the community center and all your social services going for a very long time. And old Mrs. Jones won't get thrown out in the park, and Frankie Delisle won't get thrown out in the street so he can mug old Mrs. Jones. Hello? <laughs> Would you say that again? No, 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 don't say it again. Hi, gang. This is awful. Well, I could leave. No, that was the community center. Oh, George, this is awful. Dr. Wu just ran off with his nurse. It's great, maybe he's practicing for the race. No, honey, not that kind of running. They were heading for Vegas, not a finish line. Is that such a big deal? Well, it is to Mrs. Wu and three children. We're talking scandal here. Now I can't use his name in the 10K. Oh, dear. Why do you have to use his name? Because of the book, honey. He wrote this great book, Running with Wu. I mean, running... Trust me, it was a bestseller. And now Dr. <clears throat> Wu is running away with the woo woo woo. -woo. <laughs> I I'm not helping, am I? So I guess we need an another uh, famous celebrity. Yeah, we got to try to get a celebrity named Wu, because we got all the stuff with his name on it. <laughs> Go after the big tennis star, John Mack and Wu. <laughs> oh, there's there's got to be someone. Well, sweetheart, I think you're on the right track. You know, it's always good to name an athletic event after a great, great athlete. You be the... the fridge. Or Papadopoulos. Who? Me, me. Oh, George. I'm sorry, honey, I never think of you as a celebrity. I think of you as a husband. Mm -hmm. Except upstairs. <laughs> Everyone knows George. Remember that lady in the store who wanted... George to autograph a grapefruit. Papadopoulos on a wristband. Now look, I am the merchandising manager. I am not a miracle worker. Well, you can put Pop on one side and Dopoulos on the other. If you would lend your name 
I think it would be a big success. Will you do it? Well, this may come as a big surprise to you all, but yes! <laughs> So this is the beginning of the race, and this is the end of the race, and this is the plot that I worked out. See, down past Foster Avenue Beach, Lincoln Park, Park area of the Community Center, the Bird Sanctuary, St. Joseph. Do you disagree, or is there something stuck between your teeth? Oh. No, it, it's just that I think you should send them past the Arboretum. I mean, the foliage there would be so much more calming, especially at twilight. Calming it is. Then we will go north on Clark Street, up here. Look, the dogs there think that pit bulls are lunch. <laughs> Ma'am, Jerry, George and I made a mess of money. Yeah, we went and saw some of my old football buddies, and they sure came up with a lot of pledges. Well, let's hear it for the football buddies. All right. <laughs> yeah, now we can get everything that we need for the community center. Oh, can we get a new foosball game? Ooh, it was top of my list. <laughs> George, you raised over $10,000 worth of pledges. That's $1,000 a kilometer, more than $1,000 a kilometer, and there's only one stipulation. Oh, no, honey. I mean, this is great, but I can't let you do this run on your poor old bad knees. And that's what I told him. I said that you would do the run on your knees. <laughs> Me? Me run? Uh, 10 kilometers, uh, 6.2 miles? Yes, yes. Oh, well, I mean, I can't remember when I ran. Actually, I've never even walked that far. <laughs> well, just pretend that you're in a shopping mall and you can't find your car. After all, it is $10,000. Yeah, we can get a foosball game with real fooses. $10,000. I'll run. I'll walk. I'll crawl if I have to. <laughs> oh, Catherine, you can do it. If you start training now and work up to it. Yeah, and I can help you train. I won a fourth grade spoon race, and I didn't drop the egg once. See, it makes them more qualified than most coaches I know. Well, all you have to do is finish. Then I'm willing to give it a try. Here, here. Great. Now, look at me. OK. Closer. Now you've got it. Got what? The eye of the tiger. Yes, Frankie, I'll, I'll tell her. Nice chatting with you, too, dude. <laughs> that was Frankie Delisle. He wants you to name the 10K after his street gang. The Sons of Destruction 10K. Snappy. So, how are my uh, north side streakers? Wet and wild. We must have run four miles. I ran eight. I figure I took twice as many steps as you did. I know someone who needs a long, hot bath. Yeah. 
the fat lady that was running behind the set. <laughs> no, 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 no. It is someone that we all know and love. I can take a hint. No, nope. I'm going to get my harmonica. <laughs> I just love the way it makes bubbles underwater. <laughs> I don't think I've ever been so exhausted or felt so great. And, sweetheart, I'm very proud of you. Well, thank you. I think I am going to toast myself with a protein drink. I was attacked by a can of killer tomato juice. Oh. Well, I always drink apple juice, darling. Oh. It never turns on you. Oh. Are you going to be OK? Oh, I'm be fine. I'm be fine. You think you can love a woman with a purple toe? As long as it's attached to your foot, are you going to be able to run? Oh, yeah, running. Oh, running, no problem. Walking, walking, that is tough. <laughs> now, are you OK? What did the doctor say about your toe? He said if it gets any bigger, I could write Goodyear on it and it would float over the city. That means you can't run, huh? Well, I gotta run. I just gotta run. I have to take it easy and pace myself. All right, we'll call it the 10K hop. I can't believe this. Things were going so well. They can still go well. I know how you can have one in the family in the race, and I'm not talking about Papa. Oh, my turtle. Who? Me. I'll run instead of man. The pledges were for the Papadopoulos family, right? Right. And you both have bad wheels, right? Right. Which leaves me. Kid wheels. I can do it. I've been training, haven't I? Well... And I need to tone up. Look at me, ma'am. I know. Limp City. <laughs> well, there's a lot of sports that I can't compete in, like football or hockey. But this I can do. It's important to me, ma'am. I know it's important to you, but it's also pretty grueling. But you always told me to challenge myself. Test my abilities. Oh, I meant when you clean out your closet. Ma'am. <laughs> OK, OK, you can run. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Gonna fly now. Woo! Fly now. <laughs> Hi, could we talk? Chandelier's shaking downstairs? Oh, chandeliers were meant to shake. Great. I am impressed with the way you have trained for this. Thanks. I timed it, so I'll peak tomorrow. Hmm. Oh, wow, nice move. That's supposed to help you run? No. It's supposed to make me look cool at the finish line. Uh, um, we move this talk over to the bed. I'm getting whiplash. <sighs> it's wonderful that you want to run. You know, it's even sweeter than those earrings that you made me out of paper clips and uh, cherry cough drops. Boy, I didn't think anything could top those. Neither did I. I'm so proud that you want to help those people over at the center. You know, when you're as lucky as we are, it's important to want to give something back. Yeah. You and George said that helping is always good. Well, it is. Now, tomorrow you're going to be running a long distance. And if you get tired or if you get any aches or pains, I want you to promise me that you'll stop. Because just by entering, you've made me feel like a winner. Hmm? Thanks, ma'am. But I want you and George to be there when I blur across that finish line. <laughs> finish line. Finish line. I think I forgot to order the finish line. <laughs> I'm really gonna fly now. <laughs> I know, but you were 352. 
Oh, I remember you. Are you Dr. Wu? No, I'm not Dr. Wu. Dr. Wu is not wanting. Oh, there you are. Uh, okay, any more problems? I think I'm going to scream. And I won't tell you that your water supplier backed out yesterday. Oh. Well, I guess Chicago's going to hear a high C that's going to break every window. <laughs> Now, it was short notice, but a friend of mine happens to be a maven of mineral water, and it will be delivered any second. La Aquitaine from the springs of Paramus, New Jersey? Well, it's not French, but strange things do bubble to the surface. Thank you. Okay. Well, I posted the rules for the runners, and I added one. Guess what it was? No spitting unless you're in the back of the pack. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Yeah, no, it's great. Now listen, uh, either start this race or put me out of my misery. Yeah, let's go then. Well, I guess you and I better get loosened up. Interesting moves. Did you learn those from Jerry? No, I got this from Janet Jackson's videos. I think you guys better get going here. Jan, by the way, I want you to really try and pace yourself, okay? And don't and don't look down at your feet because you might get dizzy. And if you got any time, any time at all, bring me back a pizza. <laughs> Jan, I see you at the finish line. Show me your heel, Cap. All right. Woo! Your attention, please. Runners, please take your starting positions. Okay, everybody ready? Get on your marks. Get set. We can't wait all night for your kid. Oh, yes, we can. You sure he's running and not waiting for a bus? <laughs> yes, I'm sure. Should have brought a calendar instead of a stopwatch. Where is he, Rod? Almost a kilometer back. He said he could make it, but he looks pretty big. Let me borrow the cart. Sure thing. <clears throat> Oh, 
Hold it, cowboy. How are you feeling? Fine. I'm just getting my third win. What happened to your second? I lost it about a mile back. <laughs> oh, by the way, the, the center got all its pledges, including ours. My buddies came through. That's great. I bet me I'm really happy. She'd be a lot happier if you'd uh, come in right now with me. I gotta do it, George. I gotta finish. You don't have to do it. You ran a good five miles. But George, that five miles, that was for the community center in Maryland. This last one's for me, George. I'm gonna prove to myself that I can finish. Tell you one thing, you sure got your father's heart. Hey, champ. I see at the finish line. There's a gutty little kid behind me. I think I see him. Oh, thank heaven. Come on, let's get ready. All set? Well, I wish this were silk ribbon. Are you kidding? After <clears throat> 10 kilometers, he wouldn't care if it were dental floss. Well, rise and shine, Mr. Enthusiasm. This could be a movie, you know. Chariots of molasses. <laughs> Lawson, how'd you like a present from Paramus? <laughs> We'll be back in a moment. <laughs> oh, that feels wonderful, George. You're better than magic fingers. You don't even have to put a quarter in me. Mm. <laughs> I can't believe how exhausting this was. You know, it would have been easier to run the marathon, toe and all. Boy, I haven't felt this tired since I stayed up and watched the Three Stooges Marathon. <laughs> yeah, I'm tired, too. You're exhausted from pulling the trigger on the starting pistol? Come on, come on, Catherine. I worked up a sweat getting those pledges. Oh. I deserve a little TLC myself, you know. That's right. Yeah. Do, 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 do. <laughs>